it is Friday here at Craft Clutch and that means it's another Coaster Friday and today's all about rainbows and unicorns. I have prepared my resin. I'm using the Easy Cast and I'm using the Easy Cast because it's low odor and that's what I prefer to use. You can certainly use the Envirotex Light. I've had somebody tell me that um, they prefer that. Anyhow, I have prepared the resin and I did three capfuls of each the hardener and the resin that comes in the package and I was asked to do unicorns and rainbows so that's what I'm doing and I'm going to a lot of times I'll mix it ahead of time this time I'm just gonna kinda sprinkle it in in areas let it kinda spread out and do its thing And you can leave it, let it sink, do whatever it wants. You can try to manipulate it a little bit. I decided to go one step further, and I did one more capful of each, and I threw this um, glittery, foily stuff in there. And I'm going to just carefully drip this around. This hasn't set very long at all, so it's kind of sinking right into it. And I'm going to let this sit, harden, and I'll come back and do the stickers. This is hard enough and I'm going to put the unicorn on there. I have this rainbow unicorn sticker and I'm going to put him right smack in the middle. Now I have some of these stickers left over from before. I'm just going to seem like a good fit with this unicorn. I'm just going to put the little ones on here. Then I'm going to pour the resin right over it. Then we'll let it sit at least 12 hours before we unmold it. Okay, it is time to unmold our unicorn coaster. And there it is. Here's the back where it looks actually pretty neat, where it all sank, all the glitter sank. And then here is the background, and it, I don't know if you can tell. The depth of it, it looks really cool. I wanted to address real quick, a couple people have mentioned that they're having trouble with their coasters sticking together after they're finished. There are a lot of things that could factor into that. It could be humidity, it could be maybe things weren't mixed quite right. Maybe a lot of things could factor into something like that and we may not know the actual answer. I have two suggestions. You might want to try the Envirotex Light. One person that was having that problem tried the Envirotex Light and said that she has not had that problem, so you can try that. Um, the other solution would be to get some of these little clear silicone sticky things that you put underneath things so it doesn't scratch your furniture. Now these happen to be raised, I think they have some flat ones also. You put a three or four underneath the coaster and I would do that once it has fully cured. Um, stick them under there and then you will have no problem with them sticking together at all. So I hope those suggestions help. Give it a try. Keep me posted and let me know um, what solution you come up with and if those ideas work. So thank you for liking this video. I hope you like the coaster. Let me know in the comments below. I will definitely see you next time. Happy crafting and thank you so much for watching.